Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. And if you get the chance and feel so inclined, please hit the subscribe button below and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I get um, new videos uploaded and when I go live. I was getting ready to go through what I consider my top five EDC cleaver knives. This knife is a little longer than what I mean by an EDC cleaver knife and this isn't exactly a cleaver but I think you'll see a theme to these knives um, and I just wanted to run through them. They're not any particular maker. They're not any particular grouping. I am going to group them from number five to number one and that's just how I feel about them today. Starting with number five it is the Tucson Colin Mason Pierre 319. This knife is probably one of the best values for a small cleaver folding knife. It is very girthy in the hand, right under a half inch handle, so it fills the hand up very, very nicely with that short blade. It also has a very usable finger choil to get great control of that blade. And when I think of a small cleaver, I think about what am I going to be cleaving up? Am I going to be cutting up cardboard? Am I going to be cutting up harder materials? Um, this little knife has fantastic action, has a recessed or hidden bolster lock, liner lock behind that uh, titanium and carbon fiber scale. It is in 14C 28N, so the blade steel is not what people today would consider a premium steel, but it's a very good steel. And this knife comes in at under $115. And when I look at small EDC cleavers, I could not leave this list complete without pulling in the TS319 from Tucson. Moving on, we go to one of the earliest small cleavers I got in my collection, and that is the Urban EDC Design or Urban EDC Supply F5.5. The F5.5 is a knife that most 95% of the people that come in contact with it love. I happen to be one of those people. Um, and then there's some people that the grip just doesn't work for or the inconsistent decant bothers people. But for me, when I take into consideration this thick M90 blade on this particular specimen, the deep, deep, flat grind comes down to an extremely sharp edge. This handle that is just super soft and gives me plenty of different room for different grips, different cuts, has jimping right where you'd want jimping for either of these grips. And it's very, I wouldn't call it sharp, but I would call it texture jimping. Jimping that lets you know that it's there. It drops shut on titanium liners middle flick finger only and it is a fantastic knife I've not jumped off into any more f 5.5s but I have handled some of the titanium and I can tell you I've held better specimens than the one that I love that is in my collection that I never plan to get rid of but some of the ones that I've held if I was holding one of them now it might be higher than number four but moving on number four in our small EDC cleaver collection is the 5 F5.5 from Urban EDC Supply Company. Number three, this was a tough one guys when we look at number three and number two. Number three is one of my favorites and up till not too long ago was my favorite small cleaver and that is the Wee Roxy 3. It is a Tide Knife and Tool collaboration, one of my favorite design language teams. I have all the best techs and all the Wii's with the exception of the four and the regular Roxy of the Tide Knife and Tool Wii collaborations. This knife is S35VN as was the, um, well we'll go back and we'll look at blade steels. S35VN, titanium, full, tall, flat grind, super, super slicey. Fantastic ergos. You can flip this knife from any angle you want to. You've got jimping to cover any part of the handle and the blade that you want to cover. You can choke back on the handle. You can choke up on the handle. 
you can handle it for pinch grips, pull grips, and again, the knife is just a pleasure to use. Also has a front flipper if finger flipping or thumb rolling is not your ball of wax. It also has a front flipper. So when we look at our EDC small cleavers, um, I can't go through this top five without saying at least at number three is the Wii Roxy 3. So moving on, we go to the knife that I wrestled with between number three and number two, but the Bird Blade Slim came in at number two. It may be because it's a little bit newer in my collection. It may be the materials that it's crafted out of with titanium and the uh, frag carbon fiber. It could be the fact that it is a beefier knife. It's made by Wii. The detent is just about as snappy as the detent on the Roxy 3. But something about the Slim S capital S capital L little I capital M that to me just makes the knives seem a little bit more substantial. They're both very similar knives. They're similar knives in the hand. They're similar knives on the choke up. This has more of a choke up without a choil, but it does have a fantastic sharpening choil. Um, this particular knife is S35VN and it is just a winner guys um, it is my number two knife as far as small cleavers go it's probably three quarter flat with a little bit of swedge here up on the spine it has cut a lot of materials and it has cut it well and that is the bird blades slim so that brings us to the number one small cleaver in my collection guys I can't rant and rave enough about EMP EDC, about John and Jamie Rusk and what they've done with a company and a hobby that I hold absolutely dear. It started with the Nimble. I saw the hype, bought into the hype. My expectations were exceeded. Absolutely love the Nimble. The second knife they were going to release was the Thick Boy, a knife that the closest thing I'd had to it was a Sheepdog. I had no need in my perceived time of buying this knife for a cleaver of this price point in my collection, or I didn't think I did. Um, I thought of it as a cleaver. I didn't think of it as an EDC knife. I didn't think of it as a knife that I would carry just like all my other knives, and it would open packages. It would process cardboard. It would make cuts at work. It would make cuts over the weekend. It would basically do what knives do. Um, and it did it very well. Not only did it do it well, it is a single method of deployment with a hole, whether you want to finger flick it, slow roll it, thumb flick it, it's got a nice hole. But it's also got amazing balance. And it's very, very agile. I think this knife, in terms of the way that it makes me feel, feels better than the other four knives in this group. And that's saying a lot, guys, because other knives in this group are fire. I mean, the Slim is to die for. The Roxy 3 is to die for. The Urban EDC, fantastic knife. Collins little 319, TS319 and 14C, fantastic knife. These are all great knives, and I could recommend them at different price points to you for different reasons and stand behind every single one of them. But if I was going to run out right now today and I could not find this knife in stock, I would go to EMP EDC. I would see if their Thick Boy version 2 is still in stock and I would find a way to save up and buy that knife. If that wasn't a choice for me, I would go to Urban EDC and see which version of the F5.5 is going to be coming out next and that can get you in for right under $300. If this knife strikes your fancy because it was one that excited me as much as any other when I found it in stock. It comes in at about $119 before you leave a code or use a code at White Mountain Knives. 
Any of these knives are wonderful EDC cleavers, guys. Most importantly, please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Take care of one another. Know that we're going to run through these chat rooms. We're going to run through the community. We're going to run through Blade Show. We're going to be excited to see one another. We might not always say the right thing, but guess what? That's okay because we're all understanding. Just keep loving your heart. Choose debate over hate, and life will be good. Guys, I love you all. Thank you for stopping in. Please subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell if you haven't. Show me some love. I appreciate you all. Peace.